Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can recreate the Apple iPad Mini design. So here we have this iPad Mini uh, font design thingy. It looks really cool, and I want to show you how you can recreate something like this. So this is all nice of these really thick shapes, all these colors blending together, and we can recreate this in. Um, Illustrator. So what we need to do here, let's just start with an easy one, is this, let's go with this line here. We're going to create two circles here, so get the circle tool and let's make this white, white, yep. So in here I'm going to make a circle, perfect holding shift, to kind of match the shape of this, of this line here, of this shape. Yeah, like that, maybe a bit bigger. It's kind of snapping, I don't want that. Cool, so that's nice, and then drag it over here to the bottom part here. And I want to give this a, a gradient here because it's going to from left to right uh, as a nice little gradient. So we're going to select this, both of these, and click on gradient. And I already have this gradient, uh, but I'm going to show you how you can select this color. So uh, select this one, go to your gradient to the left side here, and click on the color picker, and then I'm going to go to this if it's bright pink, and this side will be this purple and they're reversed here so uh, if you click on this color then this button here they will reverse and at the bottom we're going to do the same thing so on this purple so the the pink side on the left click and that one is the more purpley here they're also reversed like that so now we have these two shapes kind of you don't you can't even see them anymore almost so now they're on they're on there now we're going to select our pen tool and make this fill uh, go away and I make a white line. I'm going to select the uh, center part of this circle here and the center part of this one here. I'm going to click and drag and then select alter it a bit and I'm going to create this line here, this plus so get the middle of this stroke kind of. So we have this line here and when you have these two uh, shapes, let's just yeah put them over there. So what we're going to do now is make a blend between these two shapes. And we can do that by going to the blend tool, but first we're going to need to uh, alter the blend options a bit. I've already done that, but I'm going to show you as well. Uh, object, blend, blend options. And then you're going to go to spacing, uh, select spe specified steps. And then here put on 1000. 1000 is the maximum you can put in. So put it at 1000 and hit OK. So that's done. Then select both of these. Uh, one, two, and then go to object, blend, make. And then it will see, you'll see it's nicely blended this line together but now it, you want this to uh, be on this uh, spline here so because now there's a little bit of a curve in here so we'll select both of these shapes and then go to object blend and then replace spine and then you can see that um, it, it, it placed the blend on that white line here so if I put it on here then it's perfectly aligned with that shape you can't even see it's there anymore so that's how you can create this blend. So now let's do a bit more of a difficult one. Uh, let's just do uh, this one here at the middle. So I'm going to select with my white arrow, select this circle here, press Command C and then press Command V here. I'm gonna make it uh, white for now so I can see it a bit better. Place that here somewhere, yep. And then I'm going to place one over here by holding Option. Let's make, maybe I can make a, uh, one more. Let's put it here and put somewhere here as well. And then one over there. So we have this line going up. So I'm going to select them and just make it an outline so I can see it better. Go to your pen tool and then click on the middle here. And then we're going to make this nice curve. Do this spline on which the blend tool will follow. And then go over there, kind of like this. That would be good. Then we're going to select some colors, and in this case we don't really need a gradient, so I'm just going to select this, uh, go to the eyedropper tool and click on this pink color here, this one, uh, this pink here, and we're gonna go to this purplish pinkish color, maybe that's too dark, yeah, let's go over here, and this one maybe really, it's really dark purple here. Cool, so now we have these four shapes, and the important thing here is right now is that the, um, we have, and if we open our layer panel here, we have the path, which is our um, our right layer here, our right spline, and we have these one, two, three here, four uh, circles, and 
this purple one needs to be at the bottom of those four because uh, this one goes behind the other ones. So make sure that this is behind. Then this one should be above that one and then this one above that one and then the lightest one should be here on top. So that's really important to make sure that your layer uh, panel, that everything is nicely aligned from the, uh, from the front to the back. So we're going to select these four do the same thing here, object, blend, and then make. So we have this blend, and then select the spline as well, the, the white line, and then object, blend, and then replace spline. So boom, there you go. And here you can see that it's not quietly, quite uh, aligned perfectly, so you can click on it, and then just alter this spline. So it's kind of um, altered a bit, and then select this, drag this over here, and put that one on top. So now we have this really nice blend effect of these two layers. So that's basically it. You can really, uh, uh, it's really easy. Uh, if I select this one and copy it over while holding Option and Shift, drag it over here. I can just, with my white arrow tool, select this and then go to my eyedropper and click on this color here. And this one, click on this color over here. And then this one over there. And this one over Oop. there. So now I have this one created as well. And as you can see, it's a bit a bit of a different shape. So I can just alter the spline here. Don't move the circles, move the spline. Otherwise, things will get weird. Okay, like that. And then the spline here at the end. So now we have that shape. And this way, you can just copy stuff. And the, the, other, the other stuff is like the same principle here. Uh, one more thing I want to show you, which is important, if I just scoot these ones over for this shape here this is like going from the back here to the front and then to the back again you cannot do that with one uh, blend you need to make this in two passes so i'm going to copy one of these circles again place them over here and make this a white outline again or not outline just to fill and then i'm going to place this kind of like here is the bottom uh, the, the, the back part of this this dark shape or the shadow put that here on top i'm going to put one and then maybe here, yeah, like that. Uh, I think I can put this one over there then, this one there, and then one in the middle here, kinda. And then I'm going to select this and drag it over here at this dark part, and then somewhere here and there. And then um, I'm going to make this a different color, make them kind of, uh, yeah, brown is all right and then drag it over here on the s exact same spot here as this one as this one then i'm going to click uh, make another white line here select all of them and just i'm just going to i want to see it a bit better so i'm going to make these outlines first then i'm going to click here and select this go to the center here I'm gonna make this one big shape. Like that, all right, we have this spline. And I think uh, I need to alter it a bit, but okay. I need to make this look, look pretty, of course. And then I'm going to select it, press Command C. And then from this one, it's still here, I'm going to delete these points. And I'm gonna press Command F, to make it a different color, make it red. And I'm going to delete these points here. So we have these two separate splines here. So let's uh, change the color for these ones and so make this really dark. Make this uh, like, like this color here. And this what could be this one. And then we have this these browns here. Let's drag them over with this red spline. And this one can be this color. And then we're going to see at the, um, the layer panel here if everything is in order. So we have this one. And then on top of that, this one, yeah, as you can see here, it's selected. And on top of that, this one, and then this one, which is good. Okay, so select all of them, go to Object, Blend, Make, and then select the spline here and go to Blend, Replace Spine, Spline. And here you can see that's not quite lined up, so you can select the spline and then alter that a little bit, like that. Make it a bit bigger. So you can fine tune that, of course. And then this one, we're going to give this the same color as this circle here, because it's right on top of that. Um, let's see, and this one can be this color. 
this one kind of hair and this is a really really dark purple let's see if this one is also in the in a good uh, position so the, the bottom one above that one above that and one above that that's great select these and then go to object and the same thing blend and make select the spline object blend replace spine boom and then we can alter that go of course again okay and but i'm going to drag this right on top of this other circle here let's see where it snaps like there kind of so right on top so now we have that uh, shape made here as well so that's how you can create this because it's going from the back to the front to the back and you can't do that with one because this one needs to be in the back and this one as well so it needs to be done in two uh, specif specified steps so that's how you can create that one and you can see that there's a little bit of color difference here you can see it, so just make sure that these uh, these colors are uh, nicely blending together you could just change the colors a little bit by making a little bit a bit darker a bit less dark and um, like that so then it's uh, better so um, that's how you can create this iPad mini design here I will uh, finish this whole thing uh, for you guys to download. If you support us on Patreon, then you can there download all the project files for this if you want to like look around and see how we cr actually created this and just you know kind of see how it works. Uh, links for the Patreon are in the description box down below. So uh, look out for that and uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe video. Thanks, bye bye.